So I've had a few people recently asking me the same question, which is, what are those red things attached to the side of your camera? These things. So today I'm just going to tell you about those and uh, why I use them. First off, before we go any further, I'm not sponsored by this company, I just really like their product. So what these actually are, is a camera system made by a company called Peak Design. They make different camera strap systems and pieces of equipment and tech that basically allow you to connect your camera equipment to different things quickly and easily, but for real practical uses. For example, camera straps, they're not the easiest thing to connect to cameras. If you want to take them off, put them back on quickly and easily, it, there's no easy way to do it. That's where this comes in handy. So these little red tabs here, I think they call them anchors. So this is a camera strap made by the same company, made by Peak Design. Look, I can do it with one hand. That's This is how easy it is. So you clip it in, that's it, it's in. Same on the other side here, look. That's it. Now, camera strap's attached. To get it out, it's just as easy. You just click it in, hold it, and that's it, it comes off. It's, it's a really cool system, really easy to use, uh, and I really like it. When I used to use Canon, I remember it had those little weird thing clips on the side, and you'd thread it through and then attach the clip and thread it back out, and every time I was having to look up how to do it on the internet, and it, it seemed like a lot of work to take the camera strap on and off, and uh, yeah, this fixes that. So another reason to go with these, and they work with Canon, Nikon, Sony, Panasonic, whatever you use, it works for all of them. And the way these anchors attach is just to your whatever system you use, in my case the Sony. If you want to see what I've got on here just to stop it from rattling, I'll put that video up here somewhere, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, they just attach just with a regular loop and then they just they just hang. And it's, it looks like they're really flimsy, but they're not. They actually have a really smart system for knowing when these are tired and they're no longer any good or can't really hold the weight. They're braided and there's different layers of braid. And when you get down to a different color underneath, one of the colors basically means it's time to change these anchors, time to get new ones. And I think a set of four anchors is like $12. So it really isn't a lot. Cool thing about this strap, the one I use, to make it longer and to make it shorter, like if you want to have it like a shoulder or just shorter up here. So normally with a camera strap system, if you want to make it smaller or shorter, you have to just push it in a little bit, pull it out the other side, and that's kind of how you make it longer or shorter. It's not quick and easy. With this, you've got two almost like buckles. You just pull them down to make it longer, pull it up to make it shorter. Really, really simple, but really effective, and I really like it. A little bit pricey, but I don't mind paying for something if it has a genuine practical use, which this does. Another reason I like this company's stuff, you can tell that the people that actually founded this company actually like camera stuff, and they like things to work properly. They've just gone ahead and made things that no one else is making, so the strap system is one, but they also make a base plate that is a universal base plate, so it can attach to different kinds of mount systems. So normally you'd have to dedicate yourself to one mount system, like an Arca or a Swiss Type or whatever they're called, or in my case the Manfrotto, I think these are RC32 plates. They have a newer one now, which I also have, but they had this old one where it kind of fit on most different mount systems, and it has I don't know if you can see there, but you screw in these little adapters and then that allows you to attach it to what I use, which is the Manfrotto RC32. So this just can clip onto my Gorilla Pod, and it's good to go. And then the other thing that I use from this company that I like as well, on my bag, which is a Low Pro 450AW, on the bag here, you can see this little thing here. Now this just screws on and if you can see just there, it screws on, it screws off again. But you kind of want to leave it on whatever you're using, really. In my case, my bag. So this is a system that allows you to mount your camera straight to your bag. Like that. So now it's, it's attached. It's not going anywhere. And to get it off, it's dead easy. You just push this red button, and it unclips. It can't fall through or anything like that. If you click down the red button, it can't go through that hole. It can only come up. So think about it really, like you, unless you're bending straight over it's, and you're holding down that button, it's not coming off in any way. This is using the plate that they designed as well, that is the universal one that works with the Manfrotto RC32 and then their own system as well. You can see how this would be useful. If you're out and about and you need your hands free, the camera's just attached to my bag now. It's not going anywhere. Jump up and down there. It's on there good. It's not coming off. Really, really like that. 
So yeah, Peak Design products, I use the strap, I use the anchor system, and I use whatever this is called. I think it's a capture clip or something. I'll put the proper names down below for you anyway. I'll do some close-ups of this anchor system and the clip and the base plate is coming your way now. As I said, I'm not sponsored by Peak Design. Uh, I just really like their product and I would highly recommend their product to anyone who wants to do similar things to what I'm doing. That's it for today. Just a really quick video to show you some of the products I use. I'm gonna be doing a what's in my camera bag because everyone does one of those. Uh, I'll do one of those soon. If you like this video today, just hit that little like button down below. I would appreciate it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already part of it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.